Hello everyone, welcome to my stream. Uh, I'm uh, George, uh, you can find me as uh, Volcero on the different uh, Amiga forums. Uh, today this stream is going to be totally different uh, from the previous ones because from now on I'm going to stream uh, using my uh, Amiga 1200 that we ha you can see here. Actually, I <laughs> added one more uh, camera uh, that shows exactly that machine. Now it is uh, turned off and uh, we will see uh, why. I would like to uh, welcome to the stream Datadog uh, UK and SLD Snake. Welcome guys to my stream. Uh, we will see uh, different things today. Um, I got uh, some uh, hardware uh, the previous week. Uh, which uh, helped me a lot to stream uh, using my uh, 1200 and um, let's let me uh, first of all uh, stop the music welcome live lord welcome to the stream and um, t as you can see the 1200 is turned off right now uh, the previous week uh, previous sunday i had a stream a long stream that was uh, mainly for testing the equipment and uh, uh, testing if I could uh, stream using my classic uh, Amiga 1200. And um, since then, the power supply that I was using uh, had some issues, and uh, I couldn't trust it with uh, my with this machine. Um, so uh, the previous the the power supply that I used is this one it is a um, classic uh, old 300 watts uh, power supply uh, from etc and has uh, a converted uh, cable that connects to the amiga as you can see here and yeah i have that since uh, 2013 uh, so many years it served me quite well but possible it's time for this to die <laughs> so I, I i ordered a different um, uh, power supply that uh, came uh, yesterday so i thought that it would be a good uh, opportunity to uh, give you an unbox of that su power supply and uh, plug it on the amiga and uh, see it uh, working uh, welcome to the dream uh, to the the stream uh, John Dream Warrior. Welcome, and um, yeah, the the power supply that I um, I got yesterday, I it is still packed, and I haven't uh, opened that yesterday. Um, it is from Keylog.com. It's um, from the package. It's not so um, heavy. Uh, on the package, it says. Uh, less than one kilo uh, 0 0.8 kilos so let me uh, open that and see with you guys the packaging and uh, the power supply i don't know if anyone of you uh, used this uh, the same power supply uh, please uh, feel free to to write on the on the chat and uh, your uh, your um, opinion on these uh, power supplies actually it is brand new and it is great that currently we have uh, people that are creating such um, hardware for uh, our old uh, computers and uh, let me let me see yes uh, the packaging is quite well uh, here it is a, a manual about uh, the power supply let me turn it like that for you to see it and i choose this one because um, my amiga is a little bit expanded it has a blizzard um, 1230 uh, at 50 megahertz and also it has a subway inside in division and a prisma mix so a lot of stuff in there and I would like uh, something that could um, support uh, 
and give the necessary uh, juice for the Amiga to work uh, fine. This is the power supply, uh, which is, as I said, uh, it is uh, it's not heavy at all, and uh, it has a, a LED screen here that shows information about the uh, the current that. Uh, it gives to the Amiga and uh, the uptime and uh, things like that. Uh, it has the uh, plugin for the Amiga, the square one, which is quite nice made. And from the other side, it has the plugin, the UK plugin that I needed. And all the plugins are uh, coming inside the power supply, so you can't use. Um, a different cable here, for example, to, to connect it to the, the current, to your uh, uh, current. Uh, you can order uh, either the UK or the US or the EU plug. So uh, it comes with the one that you want. So uh, how about uh, let me connect it and uh, test it with uh, the, the Amiga. And also from the back side, it has uh, a nice switch. I don't know if it is visible for you to see. Yeah, a nice switch. And one of the reasons that I choose this one is because it gives the, um, it is small. Uh, it doesn't take so much uh, space on the on the uh, desk. And also it, um, it doesn't have any fun inside. So I expect that this is going to be uh, quiet uh, and it gives the necessary current for the, for the machine. So give me a, a, a minute to, to connect it and see how it works. SLT Snake says I took the Tassens 420 watt from uh, my old uh, PC some years ago. I soldered the to, uh, eight, uh, the Amiga 1200 cable on it. Uh, my previous PSU was something like your old one. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, something that a lot of people uh, used to do. But uh, to be honest, I didn't like the uh, although that I kept it for so many years. I didn't like the the sound that the all this noise from the fan to. So I always wanted something uh, silent to to use, and uh, since it seems it is close to dead to to die, uh, it was a good opportunity for me to to change it. Livendor says, do they sell uh, a four thousand uh, PSUs? I don't think so. They have a. Um, uh, power supplies for all the Amiga uh, uh, computers, uh, 500, 600 and 1200 and also they have for Commodore 64 and uh, Commodore 64, Commodore uh, 128 so let me open that Hmm. Okay, the Amiga uh, boots and let me uh, show the screen. Okay. The screen is on. So uh, the power supply, yeah, it's it is very compact. the The plastic around it is quite strong, and it seems very very good, very good, uh, very well made. Uh, let me see how this works. Or Mm -hmm. OK. 
Okay, for some reason the screen doesn't show anything. Let me check the... Okay. No, for some reason the screen doesn't show anything. I need to maybe contact the company and get some uh, feedback on that if I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it, it seems pretty good, uh, pretty well made, and the Amiga uh, works fine. So the, the website is keylog, K -E -L -O -G .com. Uh, Have a look on that. Let me uh, write it down on, your, on the chat. And yeah. So we are going to stream from the Amiga 1200 today. Uh, in case you guys want uh, something similar, uh, some uh, some good uh, power supply, uh, feel free to to test it uh, or check it out. And yeah, uh, back on uh, Sunday where I did that um, test uh, stream. Um, I also prepared my Amiga to um, uh, where I created a new partition with uh, Amiga OS 3.2. Uh, this partition uh, was named uh, Stream OS. And uh, let me make it um, the first partition to boot and boot from this one. So uh, in this partition, I uh, copied all the uh, files and the programs that uh, we uh, used on the previous stream. So it is the same uh, partition uh, that I streamed uh, before. So um, we can continue from the uh, point where we left it. Uh, when I want to change the boot priorities, I always do uh, something uh, like that. I set all the prior all the boot priorities for the uh, all the uh, partitions to minus one and all uh, and the partition that I want to boot from to to zero. So uh, this is um, a good uh, practice to to know exactly from where you can. Uh, boot. Uh, also my uh, Amiga has a PCMCIA uh, card, Wi-Fi card, and uh, this is going to give us access to the router and have access to uh, internet to download whatever uh, we need to, to test. So for today I'm thinking to, to show you and discuss about uh, um, I don't know if you have seen my previous uh, stream uh, a week ago. Uh, we discussed about how we could uh, use uh, a central place where we can add uh, libraries or commands that are uh, extra uh, for the Amiga OS and how we can use that in cases uh, we have uh, many different uh, operating systems many different installation of the Amiga OS uh, on our machine. Welcome Reseda, welcome to the stream. Uh, today uh, I'm streaming from a classic Amiga 1200, so uh, it's my, I'm, I'm really excited about that. So as you can see, um, here I have uh, the stream OS, which is an Amiga OS 3.2 uh, and it is the installation that we had uh, previously on, on the previous uh, streams. Uh, and I have a, a partition which is uh, Amiga OS 3.9, Amiga OS 3.1.4, Amiga OS 3.2. And here we have an, um, I call it emergency uh, boot because it is uh, Amiga OS 3.1 uh, with uh, best workbench uh, installed. And I, I use that in cases I, I, there is a problem with one of my partitions that I need a partition which I can use to, to fix problems. 
all this before Amiga OS 3.2 was released, of course, because Amiga OS 3.2 uh, and the Kickstart 3.2 has the ability and the uh, options to help you boot even uh, on, a, on a broken startup sequence. Uh, things that we saw on previous streams. So uh, this stream OS has our partition uh, that we used on the previous streams. And the idea that I would like to show you is, let's say that we need a couple of um, libraries, okay? But I want them to be available for all these uh, installations. So no matter which one I will use, I want that to be available for all of them. Uh, but I don't want to uh, copy the library or the com any command or anything I need to all these different installations because if there is an update some, at some point, I need to do that again and again and again. And uh, possible, um, in some cases, I might see that uh, I forgot to install it, install the newer version to one of these partitions. Preseta says, after the stream is over, I will be probably hugging over IMP chat. I am amazed of that software. Yes, it is, it is uh, awesome. Uh, let me, let me uh, start it here and check also the, that you have sound. from the Amiga. <laughs> Is the sound well? Preseta Lemon Preseta asks uh, which Amiga 1200 I have. It is the Commodore one. This uh, computer, in this case, I have it from uh, 1993, and is my beloved one. And of course, it has some scratches here and there because it is uh, it shows its age. John Tripogoro says a bit louder, please. <laughs> yeah, but I have to, to talk as well, right? Let it uh, at the back for now because I want to, to show you stuff. Um, okay. So, uh, what I was saying, yes. The, what I want to do is to have a centralized place to add my libraries, the extra libraries, and these to be available for any of these uh, um, installations that I may have. Okay, the Amiga has the ability, the Amiga OS has the ability to um, uh, search for, for specific things in specific folders. For example, a, a library, it searches for a library in uh, the Sys, um, let me let me write it down for you to see. For libraries, usually it, it uses this uh, uh, path Sys. Sys is the the boot uh, partition. Okay. Uh, for in our um, uh, example here, it is the the stream OS because this is the partition that I booted. So Sys uh, libraries is the path that it looks for uh, the libraries or uh, also it looks in the assign libs okay this assign goes exactly to this path and if, uh, if an application uh, needs an, a library it usually goes to this uh, path um, you will see that if i write here assign and press enter it gives us all the assigns that is available uh, on our machine. There are uh, assigns uh, here we can see libs, okay. Uh, C, for example, 
and you will see here that there is this plus uh, symbol. John Dream Warrior, that's, uh, that's a real good uh, question. Which one, Amiga 1200 is the best ESCOM or Commodore uh, the real one? Every 1200 for me is, it's pretty much the same. If it gives you uh, happiness, <laughs> it's, it's fine. Um, so you will see this uh, plus character here. This means that in Libs uh, assignment, there is uh, some other paths that uh, uh, were added on that uh, assign. Uh, except the, the standard one, there is classes, there is new Libs, and there is also Internet AMI SSL Libs. Uh, usually this um, new extra assignments you can find them in um, user startup or startup sequence that's the place where these assignments are, uh, are added Rosetta says uh, I have uh, three Commodore and one ESCOM and I do not see differences basically exactly that's that's the that, that's the thing and if they work fine you should be the same uh, happy about them actually I don't uh, see any differences to be honest I don't like the the sticker that the ESCOM used uh, at the uh, buds here uh, place but that doesn't make any change with the with the hardware right uh, so if we check the uh, user startup of the machine you will see for the assignment of libraries for example here it says assign libs to this path and at the end it has the argument add this is the the argument that is needed to add a new path to a, a, an existing uh, assignment that means that uh, Amiga OS if it find if it uh, look is looking for a specific library first it's going to check on this path then on the second one and go on until it finds the the library if it doesn't find it then it, it will return a, an error to the the application John Dream Warrior says that's right I have two uh, one uh, 1200 ESCOM and Commodore I think they are both beautiful at all yes you're right on that you're right on that John so what we can do to make it work for us okay uh, to make it uh, usable for what we want to do uh, we can create let's say on let me close that on applications I have a, a different uh, partition called applications and here we can create uh, our own uh, folder let's say uh, my extras my extra OS let's say you can name it as you want of course and in this folder let's create something similar like the um, similar as in structure like the Amiga OS let's create a folder named libs and a folder named s okay and here let's take and uh, drop in this folder the some libraries that we have in this uh, installation 
For example, if you remember on the previous installation, we did a, um, uh, we installed uh, uh, programs to listen to to music. Okay, uh, and among the libraries that we uh, copied were um, uh, MPEGA, for example. So if we take uh, that library. And um, move it to these libs. Okay, let me delete fr from here. Delete. Now, if I try to play um, MPEG. Um, music this will not work right because uh, the library is not there let me try it and see how it goes so i'm going to open amiga amp we installed it on the previous uh, stream Welcome Amiga Gamer 1200. Welcome. Load Amiga Gamer dot library. <laughs> she worked already. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Open PCI library. We don't care about that. And if I try, let me see if I have any. Um, volumes. I have an assignment music. No. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't have that on that installation. Okay, um, music, songs, piano tribute, Golden Axe MP3. You see that it uh, needs the MPEGA library, right? Okay, so uh, to make it work, what we need to do, let me close that, keep it, keep it on the side. What we need to do is to, to write assign, add, for the libs assignment, the path that we created here, this, this folder. So this folder is on applications, uh, partition, uh, my extras, extra OS, libs. So if I do right now assign, we will see that folder here, right? And uh, since it is in path, if I run right now the Amiga app, logically it will find the Mbega library and it will work. Let me add again the uh, song applications uh, where is it? music songs piano tribute golden axe It doesn't play so well because I have the O30 uh, and it is, it's not uh, so powerful for that. For now, <laughs> we will make it even better. So uh, you see that it didn't complain about the Mbega library and it worked just fine. So it found it on that folder. This way you can add all the libraries that you want and uh, you may not want um, to copy them into the partition that you have the uh, uh, your, your uh, Amiga OS installation in case you want to, to ke keep uh, the installation clean. But uh, how if I reboot right now, this uh, assignment will get lost, right? Uh, 
how we can do that to be permanent? Of course, I can go and uh, inside StreamOS, the user startup sequence, and add uh, the, the line that we wrote, this one, and add it in the user startup type of that uh, StreamOS uh, partition, and that installation of Amiga OS. But this is the, the same uh, line. I need to, to copy that to every uh, installation that I have for 3.9, 3.1.4, etc. Liverlord says this is a good tip, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for that. It is, it is a good tip just not actually to, uh, to do that on your machines possible, but to understand how it works, how the Amiga OS works. Uh, and one more thing that I would like to add here is that although that we copied that to this folder here, if in any case uh, you go later and installed Embega library at this path, then this is the one that it, it is going to, to um, use. It takes the first one, if it doesn't find it, it goes to the second one, etc. until it finds it. Okay, so have that in mind. Uh, and that's uh, also the same for commands or for whatever you need. So, uh, if I go, uh, the only thing that I need for the boot for this to, to work is to go on the user startup of my installation and add this line, right? And whenever um, uh, my, uh, my Amiga uh, reboots, it is going to, 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 to enable this assignment uh, and everything is going to work just fine. But um, if I want to add the second one, I need to go exactly to that partition and add this uh, assign. And this needs to be done to, the, to all the partitions, right? So what I could do so that uh, I don't need every time to go to a, every single partition and do the same changes in case I add uh, an extra path or anything like that. Uh, you could uh, go to the create a, a folder S a, in here, uh, create a, um, your startup sequence that you will add the, the um, this command OPA21, nice uh, 1200. Uh, what accelerator do you have in it? Welcome, uh, first of all, OP uh, on the stream. Uh, it is a Blizzard uh, 4 uh, with a, a 68030. Uh, at 50 megahertz and it also has an FPU in there um, and um, 96 megabytes of RAM if I'm not wrong so what we need we need to go and create a file where we are going to copy that command in there like that okay and save it uh, in this folder like let's say my my start up sequence And I do that to this um, uh, folder because it is on a different partition from the uh, Amiga OS. Because if I need later to uh, clear that partition because I want to reinstall the Amiga OS from the scratch, I don't have to take care about this uh, startup sequence. So I put it here in applications in the folder my extra OS S. And uh, here we have the My Startup Sequence. Uh, Perseta says 96 megabyte fast on single SIM module or it has additional It has the additional SCSI um, extension in there. And uh, it is, uh, I have two SIMs, one 32 and one uh, 64. That's how I managed to have uh, 96 megabytes. So uh, what I need to do from now is to go to uh, 
stream OS here open and open the user startup uh, user startup and add one line here like execute applications uh, applications my extra os slash s slash my startup sequence of course you can uh, name your folders and your um, uh, scripts whatever you want okay it's it's not mandatory to have the same uh, names and uh, but uh, have in mind that you have to put the right names here so that it can find the 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 file okay did i wrote anything wrong my startup sequence okay applications execute and that line needs only to be um, added on it each and every uh, installation on the user startup sequence after we do this is the only line that we are going to need to do that to to every uh, partition but after we do it they are going to search for this uh, startup sequence and whatever we add here um, this is going to be executed so if we need to make a change or an addition or anything we need to do that only once only on one uh, for uh, on one file placenta says it is best value uh, for money card ever yeah and i saw this um, this new one uh, the tsunami uh, 1230 that is going to be released uh, i guess and it is it looks pretty pretty interesting to be honest because it gives uh, the same compatibility with everything uh, with every software and the same uh, performance and at least it has it is new hardware uh, dummy 33,100 uh, welcome to the stream hi Walker and all of you I want to just say hi and leave <laughs> I can't join you today but I'll watch your video later uh, thank you very much that uh, you uh, joined us uh, Walker I would like to thank you for all your previous streams I learned a lot from you thanks a lot thank you for watching them and uh, for being here I will I look forward for you to be on the next one and uh, uh, chat with you Thank you for watching uh, my streams. OP says, uh, yes, it is. Uh, I have one just laying uh, because I bought a Vampire and a Terrible Fire 1260 for my two. Uh, yeah, OP, your Amigas are uh, so powerful. <laughs> I'm almost jealous. Uh, I would uh, jealous a lot if I didn't have the uh, power PC Amiga that I have so <laughs> I, I use them uh, mostly but for the 6800 uh, 68000 uh, computers the classic uh, Amigas I'm pretty happy with the 1230 that I have here with the Blizzard because it has a good um, compatibility with all the uh, software and the games and the operating system is quite usable quite usable uh, I don't struggle a lot with uh, doing stuff on my uh, machine. Of course, it is not a 1260 <laughs> like yours or your vampire, but it is quite useful. Yeah, uh, so the reason that I'm having this My Startup sequence is because I want to go only to one place to make changes and only to one place to make uh, updates. Uh, for libraries and whatever and I want this to be applied to all my um, installations okay so I added here this uh, execution uh, the, to, to execute this file but it would be <coughs> good before this uh, execute command to have a, a check if that file exists for many reasons so that at if something changes let's say that we go enter rename that 
at least your boot is not going to hang, hang up. So I will add here if exists this file folder, this file. Okay, and if. This way, if this file, this file here, doesn't exist for for any reason, this is not going to be executed, so you are not going to have any issues. Save. And let me take it and add it to Of course, if you have any question, guys, feel free to tell me and I will try to answer as good as possible. Like that. And save. And let's, let's boot for stream OS and see if this is applied. Or I had... Ah! Liverlord says you have a typo. A oh, okay. Great. If it is uh, a typo, let's see if that breaks uh, and how we can do, uh, how we can solve it uh, with the kickstart options if we can't boot on our machine. Uh, OP says uh, I just bought it because uh, I had two good salaries and for demos but i was really happy with my blizzard 1230 yeah it is uh for me op it is uh if you if you can buy the best hardware out there it is good to have it because you might want to uh, run things in the future so if you can do it for me that's the way that people should go uh, but at least uh, you have to use that hardware. It is uh, it is a pity to have a vampire or a 1260 that it is quite hard to for someone to to get and um, leave it at the, at the side and never use the the hardware. It is quite a pity. Let me check if uh, Liverlord has better eyes than me and so that I did that stupid uh, typo. Let me have a look on there. Yes, he does have that. Better eyes than me. Thank you very much. Let me uh, fix it on Amiga 3.9. So the idea is that we won't need to make these changes on each user startup all the time, just once. Okay. Okay. And if, and let's see if this was executed. If we do an assign here, it is there. Okay. So uh, Amiga OS. Understood my mistake, so he said, "It said, okay, this guy is stupid. Let's, but uh, although his stupidness, let's uh, execute that. And if we try to um, run again Amiga AMP, logically, it will recognize the library and it will work fine, or almost fine, <laughs> because it is slow." The CPU is slow. Uh, <coughs> OP says I used it for demos and newer game conversions like Doom and Diablo. Good work. Yeah. And I saw that Diablo, it, it runs quite well there. Eh? Uh, Preceda says I do not use Amiga for playing PC games. I play Amiga games on it. <laughs> uh, whatever it is, the best for anyone. Okay, if if someone wants to to play the the ports, why not? Why not? Sometimes, <clears throat> for example, you can use 
open office on your Linux machine, right? But I like to, to use um, Amiga Writer to write a document or uh, some of the Amiga applications to write the, the Word Word, for example, to write my uh, articles for um, different magazines that I write from now and then. So whatever makes people happy, to be, to be honest. So let's see. Yeah, it is, it is even better to play uh, Doom on Amiga, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, songs. And let's play this one. So yeah, the library is there. It recognizes that and it can, can use it. So here you are. Uh, a good way to, to do stuff on your Amiga and uh, keep your installation uh, clean. For example, right now, if I wanted um, to format this partition and do a, a brand new installation, the good thing with this uh, idea is that I will not have to install all the libraries, all the um, commands, the extra commands, for example, for WSD load or uh, the extra assignments that I might need, for example, uh, the assignments for Eagle Player. All of them are going to be in my um, folder, my extra OS, for example. Okay, all of them are going to be in that, uh, in, in that folder. And the only thing that I will need to add in the new uh, installation is just those three lines that we added at the end of the user startup, nothing else. Even for magic user interface, if you have the magic user interface installed in a different application, in a different uh, uh, partition than the Amiga OS, you can add all the assignments in this startup sequence and everything will go just by adding three commands in your new installed Amiga OS. Liverlord says Defteros would be a good example for me. It doesn't exist on any platform and it's one of the best games ever. Yeah, 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 you're right, Liverlord. I, I enjoy Defteros uh, quite a lot. Amica Gamer uh, told her, says him here, Pretzeda. <laughs> yeah. I know it exists on that, uh, on that, but don't care about that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's the that's the benefits that you could uh, use on such installation. If you ask me, I don't use that on uh, a 68 uh, on my Amiga OS 3 uh, because I don't switch a lot between the different uh, installations. But um, in the future, I might use it. Preseta says, I basically, I do not play PC games at all, with only few exceptions. Uh, exceptions like uh, the newer versions or um, better versions of the classic uh, games. Like, um, I don't know, um, you know, remakes of uh, old games. You prefer that, Preseta? OP says, uh, do you have an RTG card? I'm just wonder." because you have Picasso 96 and what I have uh, learned that, uh, that are uh, RTG drivers or do I have learned wrong? Actually, I have Picasso 96 here because on one of the previous streams, um, actually, I don't have an RTG card on that. It is an individual card in there, uh, MK2, uh, that can give me uh, higher resolutions with a standard, uh, no flickering screen. Uh, but I use on Amiga 3.2 the um, Picasso 96 installation and uh, I mean the, the newer versions that are uh, available from individual computers because there is the native driver that helps to, to save some uh, chip RAM uh, memory. It, uh, it helps a lot with that and it is the recommended uh, uh, 
a solution to 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 follow on a new uh, Amiga OS uh, installation or Amiga OS 3.2 installation uh, because it is quite uh, compatible with the operating system and uh, you are not going to have stability issues. Amiga Gamer 12 says can use uh, Picasso drivers to move some things into fast RAM. Exactly from Cipram. Yeah, there is um, a driver on Aminet called Native and uh, you can install it with uh, an installation of Picasso 96 and uh, this is very useful. You save a lot of Cipram uh, uh, with that. Of course, if you use uh, higher resolutions with more uh, colors, you are going to lose Cipram, but uh, that helps a lot. Yes, I discovered, uh, Presenta says, yes, I discovered this based on Volcaro's <laughs> great feature, it saves a lot of chip, man. Yeah, and uh, I didn't know that uh, as well. I think this, uh, actually, I'm sure that you can use this um, solution for Amigos 3.9 if you want, or um, Amigos 3.1, uh, because it is available and you can use with any uh, version of Amiga OS. Uh, but I learned about it by reading the documentation, the help from, that came with Amiga OS 3.2 and the section about the patches because uh, there is a lot of information about the, which patches you need to, you can not, you can avoid to, to use with Amiga OS 3.2 and I found that there uh, and that's how I learned about it. Uh, SLD snake, yeah, native. Uh, I was typing to that P96 driver for the for the chipset. Yeah, it is it is quite a good solution. It's like a legal F bleed, <laughs> uh, more friendly with OS API. Exactly, exactly. Uh, SLD snake. Amiga gamer 1200 says the best way to free up chipram on 3.2 is to remove the Amiga 3.2. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, if you remove the wallpaper, if you remove, uh, if you lower the colors, yeah, you can save a lot of chipram. The uh, times that I needed to to do that is mostly on games, on some games that I need to have uh, 1.8 and above uh, uh, megabytes of chipram. But right now we have some. Um, uh, folders open because even these icons right now are in fast RAM but we have uh, the folders open we can open uh, WinUp we can we have the uh, backdrop and I have here 1.6 almost 1.7 megabytes of RAM so it's it's fine for me uh, SLD snake good tip the wallpaper it's nice but yeah every wallpaper uh, it's a lot of memory because the chip RAM is necessary to have things that are uh, displayed on the screen needs to be on chip RAM. Uh, I hope that there is going to be a, a solution for having uh, backdrops but uh, saving chip RAM as well. Or make uh, the applications to not use chip RAM at all. At all. <laughs> Liverlord says that it, it's ugly also. Yeah, yeah, I don't like the, the white, although th this is not so white, but I don't like the white uh, backgrounds because it is, if you have a low uh, uh, lighting in your uh, room, it is quite uh, strong for the eyes. John Dream Warrior says, I think the best problem in the area is using Chip uh, ROM is how it's possible to fix it and to remove it all, let's see, from uh, too fast RAM. Uh, that's the best choice, but I was hoping that with Bliss, uh, Bliss Kick, uh, someone had to do this job for the old operating system, like 3.1 and uh, 3.9 and so classic Walkman. Yeah. Uh, Liverlord says, well, it's very simple, should be done better. 
Sure, uh, for the Amigos 3.9 I was using uh, Blitzkick uh, and different other uh, uh, patches to, to save Cipra. Okay, uh, but uh, with Amigos 3.2 thank god I don't have to <laughs> install uh, all this stuff and it works much much better. Uh, and also by uh, the uh, on Amigos 3.9 we used something like Happy Environment, Happy Environment, that also was a patch that uh, right now we don't need to do it with Amigos 3.2 uh, and uh, which manipulates the files that goes to the env instead of envark and remain in envark and all this, for example, if I go here on env, these things, uh, list, these files are also uh, taking some space from the Cipra, right? OP81 says uh, when I try 3.2 on my vampire, I did uh, notice that the OS 3.2 uh, didn't touch the Cipra in the desktop, but my terrible fire 1260 does. Uh, the vampire has four megabytes of Cipra, right? Or wrong and also the vampire has the RTG when you have RTG all the graphics go through the RTG and you get it uses the memory of the RTG card card graphics card uh, if, he, if it emulates something like Picasso it uses it has some uh, memory there I don't know how much it is uh, 8 16 32 megabytes I don't know um, and it uses that memory so the chip RAM is not used at all because all the graphics go through that card and that happens with not only with a uh, vampire with any uh, rtg um, card you might have on any uh, amiga uh, that could be used for example even if you have uh, cyber graphics cards uh, a b vision for example is or cyber vision they are using uh, the graphics go through the card so they are using the graphics mem uh, the memory of the graphics card that's why the chip ram is full <laughs> and your terrible fire uh, doesn't emulate an rtg card right and that's the reason i have here the the psu it is quite hot it's bearable on the, on the hard, to be honest. But the yeah the the screen doesn't light up. I need to discuss that with the company and see why. Or I'm, I do actually when you uh, touch it, it should uh, light up and uh, show some information here. But it doesn't. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe not. We will see. Uh, John Dreamwater says that's right, George. Yeah, uh, thanks, John. OP81 says I have the same PSU, bo but both from Poland. Yes, yeah, from Poland. And uh, I, uh, I got it uh, yesterday, uh, OP. Uh, and today I unboxed it here on the stream and I just uh, connected it to my Amiga and it works, it works fine. I just need to stress it a little bit to see how it, go it goes. Uh, Preseda uh, says I have OS 3.2 running in native resolution, 64 columns, P96, native driver in installed and after boot I have 1.9 uh, kilobytes, uh, megabytes of uh, Cipra, which is just great. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because ah, uh, you have the sixty color, sixty four colors. Preseda, you did something awesome there that I haven't. Uh, what kind of resolution you have? What resolution do you use? And right now I have also uh, Amidoc running. So if I remove it, 
I will save some of uh, these. Yeah. And if I, uh, anyway, it is it is quite well for me. Without P96, I have 200 kilobytes chip less. What kind of resolution do you have on your uh, machine, uh, Presenta? Do you remember? 6040 to 256. Okay, okay. So you are using high res. Yeah. I'm using high res laced with 256 colors here. Oh, yes, yeah. If I do that, I will save some more memory, I guess. Here you are, 1.860. And if I go to the resolution that Perceda uses, ah, no, you said 64, okay, use. one point nine with the wallpaper <laughs> John Dreamworld says to understand that you have a Picasso 96 because you have a Picasso card installed in your Amiga and 3.2 uh, workbench no I don't have any Picasso card on my Amiga uh, it is just the plain uh, graphics card AGA for the Amiga. Uh, but you can install the latest uh, versions of uh, Picasso that are available from individual. And you can have the native driver that uh, uses some, um, I don't know, things from the graphics, uh, the Picasso library. And uh, moves stuff from the chip RAM to the fast RAM and here inside monitors I have native that uh, driver yeah no, no nothing uh, from my card this ca the card that I have is uh, uh, double scan flicker fixer how it is called is the division me uh, mk2 uh, from individual computers uh, yeah, it is possible. It is possible. And actually, let's let me uh, go back to the previous. Uh, screen mode. Here. Yes, if you go, um, where is it? Tools, help. Let me find it. Uh, I think it's on FAQ. I'm trying to, to find out the documentation, the exact uh, place where they describe that uh, information, that uh, trick, let's say. Installation, hard disks. Okay, performance and compatibility. I'm using Picasso 96 with both download from a minute that I get some issue yeah the what I we have seen on previous um, uh, stream is that the native driver doesn't work with the Picasso 96 that is available on uh, Aminet the the free available Picasso 96 that's why we had to install the ones that you have to buy from individual computers 
this is a feature uh, feature that uh, w was added in uh, later versions uh, here 4.5 I believe that's the place 4.5 Yeah, here, can I use the FBLIT patch with AmigaOS 3.2? Instead, we suggest you use Picasso 96 together with a native uh, driver, both available on Aminet. Uh, this will bring the benefits that FBLIT provided, but on a clean AmigaOS friendly manner. Here you are. Uh, John Trimwall says, I'm sorry guys, but if you have an Amiga in a tower with a graphic card and you install Amiga uh, Workbench 3.2, how is it possible to make it working? If you have a, um, an Amiga in a tower with a graphics card, let's say uh, a B-Vision or Cyber Vision or uh, Picasso 96, uh, a Picasso, you can install the drivers for these graphics cards as you were doing uh, with the previous versions of the Amiga OS. It is exactly the same thing. You install the Picasso 96 drivers or the Cyber Graphics version 4 drivers. Uh, depends on the card uh, that you are using, so it is going to work as it was. Yeah, but there is magic. <laughs> OP81 says, how do uh, 3.2 behave on lower end Amiga, like an Amiga 600 with a 4 megabyte fast RAM? Uh, will it still work good or will it be slow then? I do understand that it will uh, not be able to use glow icons. The glow icons uh, still cheap RAM, right? So it will be better in this kind of machine to avoid using uh, glow icons. Um, but if you have on that Amiga 600 um, the Kickstart 3.2 that will benefit because it, you will not uh, lose uh, RAM uh, while the Amiga OS uh, boots. If you have 3.1 or 3.14 things that it expects to find them on uh, the Kickstart ROMs it will uh, need to, to load them from the uh, hard disk and uh, load them inside the, your memory, in the memory of the machine. So uh, if you want to keep uh, as much memory as possible on that machine, I would uh, recommend to use Kickstart uh, 3.2 uh, ROMs as well. Now, if it is going to be fast, if you use the black-white not the glow icons uh, like uh, you were doing before it will be the same but i haven't tried that on this kind of machine level lord says uh, i have installed uh, picasso 96 with a graphics card without any issues i paid for latest picasso 96 uh, though and it works like it's are yeah the the latest version of picasso 96 uh, drivers are quite awesome and uh, also, they have a lot of fixes and uh, new features, right? Uh, you may get even the drag uh, of the screen. Preseta says, yes, I bought uh, Picasso 96 drivers from Division and then installed native driver from Aminet uh, into it. A, a bit tricky way, but Volker explained it uh, perfectly in his stream. Yeah, we had that stream. And we failed <laughs> by installing the Picasso 96 drivers from the Aminet and we saw that it doesn't work. And then I used the, the bot ones, so it worked like a charm. Uh, George, thank you very much for that. I have uh, a Voodoo card in PCI Mediator. Yeah, so the, for the Voodoo card, you, you install the Mediator drivers. I think Voodoo card uses Picasso, right? So 
you install the latest version of Picasso and it will work just fine as it was working with Amigos 3.9 that I know that you are using. It's exactly the same thing with uh, 3.2. Leave a lot uh, followed instructions from the Zeta Zeta uh, 9000 ZZ9000 and uh, MNT website and it just worked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Amigos 3.2 didn't change anything on that. Thanks for the answer, Liverlord, says uh, John Dream Warrior, and OP81 says I'm just going to use it for some WSD load games. Uh, uh, which machine, OP? I, I, I don't think that you are talking about the Vampire, right? <laughs> I hope you didn't buy the Vampire for the w, w, WHD load games. <laughs> John Dreamworld, thanks again for the answers. Okay, yeah. Oh, the, the A600. One friend of mine has an A600 with uh, the specifications that you, you mentioned. Um, take care of your partitions. Try to have as uh, small partitions as possible and uh, also uh, low buffers on these partitions because all these are loaded in in memory and you might not have in, enough memory for the WSD load games and also it depends on the game um, I think that you have to have disabled the preload um, um, tool type on the games as well because the preload uh, loads the game or, or the, the necessary files into the RAM. Okay, so if you have uh, problems to, to run some games on uh, 4 megabytes of RAM, try to lower that. You, uh, for the chip RAM, you have uh, only uh, 500 kilobytes or uh, you expanded that to 1 megabyte as well. I did a reboot just to, to fix all the changes that, I got, that we did and uh, now I would like to, to show you uh, after all these changes how Perceta says uh, a600 has one megabyte chip. Okay, <laughs> you can expand it to two megabytes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, possibly I'm, I'm wrong on that. Yes. Yeah, it is. It is awful because it rebooted with lower uh, colors right now. Let me fix it a little bit. Let me increase it. So I would like to show you uh, this Amiga has a Prisma Mix in there. Do you guys know about uh, anything about Prisma Mix? OP says that his uh, 600 has 2 megabyte chips. Okay, that's good. Try the preload. OP, try the preload on the games. If you go to a game, uh, let, me, let me find something here. Here it has the preload. Try with that. If that fails, also it might work with some games, but with others it might fail. Okay, just try it. If you have it enabled and it works, it is much better because it will uh, load much faster. But if, he, if it fails, try to disable it like that. Put it inside a um, parenthesis and uh, try the game again to, to, to I, I guess you know how to, to switch here the tool types how to add the parentheses because I didn't type anything if you keep the shift pressed and click on that sorry 
I did. Yeah. Try to, to not uh, move it as well. So if you shift and click, the parentheses uh, are added or removed. So it is something easy to, to change without typing anything. So uh, try the preload if you have uh, issues and hope it works just fine. Walker, Euridium and Hired Guns. Yeah, it is fine. Uh, Perseta is, is right on that. And a lot of other games. Um, you can play a lot of nice games on the Amiga 600. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, I guess you guys know about Prisma Mix. Prisma Mix is a, a card that you can use um, on any Amiga, uh, any Amiga, any Amiga that has uh, a Zoro uh, port or a clock port. The 1200, of course, doesn't have uh, a Zoro, but it has a clock port. And uh, the Prisma Mix helps a lot with the uh, with listening music without uh, using the CPU. And uh, I would like to uh, show you how uh, someone can use it and uh, if he is lucky to find one because uh, this uh, card was uh, created and sold by Amiga Kit, but I think that right now it's not available. But in case you find one, uh, so that you can, uh, so that you know how it can be used, and also see the difference with uh, the MP3 files, like the previous, uh, like the ones that we ran, uh, tried to listen previously, and it didn't work with the O30 uh, that well. So I'm going to find the Prisma Mix connects uh, on the clock port and has some um, inputs and outputs. So you can input to that the um, sound from uh, the Pola and uh, it can mix it as well uh, to the output. Uh, if you can see, I don't know if it is visible here, you will see four uh, connections that I opened uh, holes in the case and uh, these are coming from the Prisma Mix. Uh, so uh, to make it work, uh, I have, there is an ADF file that you can get with the, uh, with the Prisma Mix, it comes on a disk of course but i don't have the disk with me right now uh, but i have the adf you can download the latest adf from the wiki uh, website of uh, amiga kit prisma megamix the new version was promised to be released with alex Z zirkonstar amiga kit said it uh, said it to me uh, directly in amiga ireland 2020 and nothing happened uh <laughs> yeah um we have to wait <laughs> let's see uh even the old version uh, we were waiting for the the ability to to have let's say a cd-rom connected to prisma mix it has a, a header where you can connect a cd-rom and this mixed out to the output, but uh, it never happened, it doesn't work right now. But you can have a cable from the uh, Polar native output at the back to the Prisma Mix and uh, have one output from the Prisma Mix, uh, which will uh, mix the uh, sound that comes from the computer, for example, from the four games. Uh, and in case you have a a player playing mp3 files that this work is done the the decoding is done on the prisma mix uh, come out on the, on the same um, output 
Currently, I don't have the cable from the polar output to the Prisma Mix, so I'm going to, to switch if uh, it is needed. SLT Snake says two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. <laughs> Why not? Uh, John Dreamwar says, except. Uh, using the clock port for Prisma Mix they have made before years uh, USB ports available for the Amiga and through them I hear from some uh, guys that they have both they have uh, a USB mini audio devices connected with very nice sound ah audio devices yeah uh, if I'm not wrong the Poseidon for the for USB it has some um, support of specific USB audio devices but I never tried one and I'm not sure how well this uh, sounds uh, before I was using the how it was called um, it was a, um, a device that you could connect on your serial and uh, parallel I think from the serial it uh, was taking only uh, the power that it needed to, to, to work and um, from the parallel uh, it was taking the data and uh, I was using one of these um, devices that it worked just fine mass player, yes, mass player it was working just fine, I have a couple uh, in storage and uh, yeah, it was taking all the effort from the CPU uh, for decoding mp3 files. The good thing for the uh, Prisma Mix is that it doesn't uh, decode only mpeg files, mp3s, it decodes uh, AUG, uh, Vorbis, and also uh, FLAC, if I'm not wrong, FLAC. Uh, yes, it, and it helps a lot with the uh, decoding without using the CPU so for now just for, for fun uh, let's open uh, Amiga Amp music Amiga Amp here and also open Uh, commodity to see the CPU usage. Okay, and open music, songs, piano tribute, can folder. We have a ninety-seven percent used. Perseta says that he has also mouse player. Yeah. Yeah, mouse player is is very very good hardware. Odd, of course, but it is very good for what it is doing. Uh, let me check the configuration if I can reduce the quality and make it work better uh, audio decoder okay software decoder right low here mp3 low yeah it is already too low and it can't work fine so we are going to see the same thing with the prisma as you saw, I double clicked on the ADF and this is mounted. Okay. And here is the installation. Okay. Okay. Let me unmount that. Eject, 
perfect and let's open again the Amiga amp now the Amiga amp to, to use the Prisma Mix uh, it needs a in general any um, uh, audio card it needs the dri a driver and these drivers are called MHA um, drivers Presetta says six years in limbo already in ga the game is complete but can't because of Prisma okay uh, that's a pity for sure let me remove, close that okay and here in preferences we can go and select that we need to use a hardware decoder you see here it is looking for MHA, uh, MHI driver uh, so uh, by the installation uh, it was installed this driver okay and as you can see since we selected hardware all these selections are disabled save and let's okay let's restart it and try, try that again file yeah you don't listen hear anything Thirty one percent of the CPU is used right now. And mostly this is because of this scrolling of this rotation and how we can see that. If we go uh, to terminal and go to applications um, music songs what we have here piano tribute okay list while we did the installation there is a, a command that it was installed and it was it is called prisma play and let's try again the this file you see the usage is dropped to 18% And even lower so the Prisma mix is working fine and also you can you can give it give uh, to this Prisma play um, a playlist of mp3 files and you can have it playing at, at the at the at the back like that uh, listening to music with here you are 11 percent of CPU usage on uh, all 30 and then you can open your browser and surf the internet which is great it is exceptional for a machine since uh, that was released in uh, 1992 right I find it awesome to be honest And of course, check your beloved uh, websites. So, in my opinion, if you find a, a Prisma, a Prisma Mix, uh, and you afford it, go and buy it because it helps a lot with uh, the music. 
um, you can't use it with uh, mod uh, modules or because they still need to be decoded on CPU. Okay, but with uh, songs like uh, MP3 songs or uh, Og Vorbis or Flak especially the flag that are uh, huge uh, as uh, files it, they are uh, decoded by Prisma just fine and I believe if you have uh, an Amiga with uh, uh, a Zora card it will be even better uh, working there even better because even the clock port uh, takes some CPU time to be used right So you can surf the, the internet with uh, eyebrows and you can uh, listen to music just fine and maybe if you want uh, you can install um, an, uh, AMI RC, uh, the AMI RC or any other uh, RC client that you might uh, would like to, to use and while you discuss with your friends have some music back at the back plane. What do you think about that? OP says I need to go. Have a great night, day, everyone. Thank you very much, OP81, for being here, for joining the, the stream. Hope you you enjoyed uh, the stream with us. And thank you for uh, being here. Take care. Take care. And see you on uh, the next one. So, uh, for the next stream, what would you like to, to see and what would you like to, to discuss about? I was thinking to um, see a few applications. Uh, John Dreamworth says, thank you for all the news, George. Thank you that you exist and, the answer, and you answer to our questions and all the friends here. I, I thank you, John for being here and participating on the stream. Thank you very much. Uh, OP81 says, I did, thank you for the stream. Thank you for being here. If you guys do not uh, visit the streams, um, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that at all. Uh, yeah, for the next stream, I'm thinking to discuss with you and uh, see a couple of uh, applications for uh, surfing the internet, uh, chatting, and uh, for FTP, maybe to access FTP, uh, and the things that have to do with the, the internet. Uh, if your Amiga is connected uh, on your network and uh, what you can use to, to surf uh, websites, and also uh, to listen um, music from the internet and uh, things like that. Uh, is there anything that you would like also to, to discuss on uh, one of the next uh, streams? Feel free to, to uh, communicate with me, send me your proposals or things that you would like to see. Preseda says, since I found IMP, my Amiga must be connected. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And Preseda, since we talk inside uh, IMP, uh, feel free to uh, share nice modes that you find there because I want to make um, a list of favorites that I'm going to, to play all the time. John Dream World, a big problem for me because until now we are uh, talking, I couldn't connect my Mega to the Internet. Your Mega? Uh, what's the Mega? Little Lord, I purchased new 3, 3.8 two weeks ago and no response from Stefan. Not sure if I can, if I cancel order. If, I should, uh, if you should uh, cancel the order. Actually, uh, Stefan doesn't generate any more um, personal keys. 
possibly you are going to get uh, a generic key like uh, all of us uh, and uh, but I believe that you are going to get a, a, an answer soon John Trimigor says Amiga ah okay you couldn't connect your Amiga to the internet uh, John uh, the Amiga that you have is uh, an Amiga 1200 if yes I would uh, check about Uh, PCMCIA uh, cards, there are two kinds, uh, the Wi-Fi one and the, like the one that I'm using here, and this one. If you get this, if you find this one, uh, this is possible also to upgrade the, uh, the firmware so that it can connect to WPA2 uh, Wi-Fi's. But there are others which is not upgradable, but they can use WPA and you might need to make some changes on your, um, on your router to, to support it. Otherwise, there are uh, PCMCA cards that have the cable to connect to RJ45 uh, cables, the same cables that uh, everyone is using for desktop machines. Uh, Live Lord, yeah, I, I ordered, of course, I ordered the my key a few years ago, and I got uh, the the reply. I don't know about now how it goes, but I know that he is uh, uh, sending the keys. I I never heard anything about someone that uh, he never got uh, a key by Stefan. Placeta says, I have Netgear FA411 LAN connection. Ah, Netgear. The, mine is MA401. And uh, it is quite stable. And yeah, as uh, Placeta says, if you want to connect, You will need the TCP IP uh, software. Uh, one of them is Miami. Uh, the other is uh, Ami TCP IP. You can find it. And also the Roadshow. And uh, Amiga 3.9 was coming with, let me check if I have it, with Genesis. We ca you can use whatever of these uh, applications, uh, TCP IP uh, applications to, to connect to internet. Yeah, we well, wrote so it's uh, way faster and uh, quite stable. I never had any issues. And actually it is uh, the thing that you are booting and um, you are straight into uh, internet, like I do here. If I have the PCMCIA connected while I boot, I get uh, into uh, the connection straight ahead. I don't have to to make any uh, run something or or not. John Dreamwall says I have the 401, but after installing before many years, it was not possible, and I am sure because the WPA2. If you have the uh, Netgear uh, MA401 then it is possible to upgrade the firmware uh, to support the WPA2. I did it a lot of years ago, I don't remember the process, but I'm sure it is possible to be found on online. I was trying the Austria. Yes, with Genesis it will work just fine, but you have to support WPA2. I would recommend you uh, to go to um, your router change it to WPA uh, and not WPA2 and try to connect. If it connects, then you are fine. The, you can do all the configuration to connect and then you are going to be sure that it is a matter of WPA2 or not. Or if it is a matter of the card. There is also other uh, solutions th like the blip box that you can use on your 
parallel, if I'm not wrong, or serial. It depends. I think it connects on parallel port and uh, you can use that to connect. It is not that fast like a PCMCIA uh, card, but it is a good solution. And I read that from a lot of people that are quite happy from that. And also you can uh, you can uh, check the Amiga Kit uh, website or the other stores websites. They have solutions for PCMCA to connect to internet. Perceda has the play box. Must try it. It is fast enough for IMP. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Plimbox is a, a very good uh, solution and actually it can be used with any Amiga. It is a good uh, solution for any Amiga. If you want to, to remove it and connect it to your uh, 600 or your 2000, it is, it, is, uh, it is working, it will work just fine. If I change to WPA from uh, WPA2, is it okay for the security in the area of internet? Um, if it was not that secure, I would expect that the routers would never support the WPA and uh, all of them would uh, support WPA2. Of course, WPA2 is more secure than WPA, but I don't know. Uh, Another solution would be to, to use another router that is WPA uh, only and connect that with uh, a cable to your first and main um, router and use that only for the Amiga. And um, you can even lock based on the MAC address of the, of the card that you are using on your Amiga and this way you are going to have the best uh, security because if you use that with only a specific mac address no other um, uh, machine will be able to connect on that uh, router uh, so you won't have any issues Preseta says that Plipbox doesn't uh, block valuable PCMCIA. Yeah, true, true as well. True as well. So for the next uh, stream, I'm um, I'm thinking also to show you a little bit the inner of the this Amiga uh, to open it for you to have a look on the hardware that is there and uh, discuss about that and see the and discuss also for the uh, internet applications Liverlord says to John Dream Warrior try to log into the route uh, router and uh, change uh, settings to WPA there maybe that will help security settings okay to WPA there Now uh, the uh, PSU, you know it is quite hot, you can hold it just fine, but started the, <laughs> the plastic to, to smell <laughs> because it is brand new, so you know. So guys, that's all for today. Hope you found this um, stream uh, interesting and uh, helpful i would like to to thank you all for being here uh, thank you for uh, coming to my stream and uh, this stream is going to be uh, uploaded on youtube next week if you can try to share my streams to everyone you know that uh, could benefit from what we are doing here and what we discuss 
and uh, let's see if anyone is uh, streaming right now uh, who could uh, we could um, uh, raid if you have any request to whom we should raid please tell me thank you level lord thank you for being here let's raid someone and while we raid them let's uh tell them about the the stream how funny it was <laughs> today we didn't have any uh, any major problem so that was that was good <laughs> that was good so we have hits streaming would you like to uh raid him Thank you, Amiga Gamer 1200 for being here. Thank you very much. Liverlord says, yes, I connect my iPad with my Linux machine, my Amigas. Spell check is, <laughs> spell check is killing me. Yeah. Yeah, the spell check is awful, right? Okay, let's raid uh, hits. I'm typing from my Amiga to uh, <laughs> my PC. So Thank you everyone very much. Thank you. I hope to see you soon uh, again on my next stream. Uh, have a look on your uh, tweets. Maybe I will uh, do an extra stream inside uh, during this weekend. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? And uh, thank you for being here. Until next time, have a good day and take care. Take care. Bye bye.